Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we will see how to create custom symbol and footprint for SMD resistor using Altium Designer. So, let's get started. Suppose you have to create a PCB using custom symbols and footprints. Then, one of the methods that we usually follow is we go to File, click on New, and we click on Project. Then, here we select the working directory and the project name, and we create the project. I have already created one. Now we have created the project files and we will have to add a few more files to it such as the schematic file, PCB file and as we are going to create custom symbol and footprint we will also have to add schematic and footprint library. In this case I have already done it. I will just show you how to do it. So go over here, right click, go to add new to project then choose schematic, PCB, schematic library and PCB library and you have to also save them in your working directory. So I will just, yeah. So over here I have saved these files and first thing we will go to schematic library. Over here we have to create the symbol for a resistor. The resistor that we will be using in this case will be a 10k resistor. So the first thing is we have to select a resistor first of all. So go to chrome, go to dgk.in. I have already selected the resistor but I am showing the procedure. Search for resistors. So over here we are going to select an SMD resistor. So I will go to this link. Now we will select the resistance. So in our case we need a 10k resistor. So I will just scroll down. Here is the 10k resistor. Then we need a power rating of uh, 0.25 watt. So here it is then regarding the package I want to use a 0603 package so I'm having 21 uh, components so I'll apply the filters to see which are the components remaining from these 21 I want my resistor from either Yageo or which I deal so I will select these two So from this, I have uh, selected this one, which is from Vishai. So that is the resistor over here. Now what we have to do is we have to select this DigiKey part number. So I will copy this. I go to Altium. Go to Panels. To manufacture part search. Over here, paste that number and search for it. So I want this from uh, DigiKey, so I will take this one. Right click, import to uh, schematic library one. So what happens when you do this? The parameters from the DigiKey site, okay, which are mentioned below, they are directly imported over here. Now before starting to create a symbol, we have to see the grid. Over here, the grid is set to 10 mil. Uh, I will change that to 50 mil by pressing G on my keyboard. So you can see now the grid is 50 mils. Now let's start to create the symbol. So for that go to place, select pin, place this pin over here, press spacebar to rotate and place it over here like this. Now one thing you need to be very clear of is these white dots represents the external connection. So during schematic design, when you have to connect this resistor to let's say a particular pin, so the connections can be made from this terminal only. Okay, your wire won't get connected to uh, this terminal. So make sure you place the pins accordingly. As the resistor is a passive component, it does not need any uh, designators like pin 1 or pin 2. So what we can do is we can hide these numbers. So double click, uh, click here to hide the designator and click here to hide the pin name. Do the same thing with this. Hide. Also over here you can change the pin length. I have kept it like 200 mils that is by default. You can change if you want. I will move this slightly to the left. Yeah. Go to place. Select line. Click over here. And now you can see that this line is moving like this. Okay. In 90 degree angles. But we don't want it like that. So press spacebar, press it once again, and you are done. So click, 
bring it till here click bring it till here click like this and we are done press escape click save double click here hide this and now go to panels schematic library double click over here enter the designator value as r question mark and comment we can put 10k like this we are done with creating the symbol for this resistor now we have to create the footprint for it so i will open this pcb library now before starting we'll have to go to the data sheet so this is the data sheet of this resistor for uh, dimensions i'll scroll down so uh, yeah over here we are having the dimensions of this component and referring to these values we will have to enter the values there so go to ultium go to tools select footprint wizard click on next over here we have to select the component select resistors the unit will be millimeters click next we have an smd component so we will select surface mount now over here so we have to see the data sheet and over here we can see the solder pad dimensions are given and y for 0603 is 0.75 and x is 1 mm so uh, this is 1 mm and this is 0 0.75 click on next now we have to find the distance between two pads from the centers so that distance is going to be z minus y so if we see that if is uh, 2.25 minus 0.75 which is 1.5 so uh, put 1.5 over here click on next these values we will select default let's name the resistor as resistor 0603 and finish so over here we are having the footprints our the pads and uh, this is the outline which is the top overlay layer so uh, first thing i will uh, change the grid to uh, 10 meals and i will just uh, bring this down so uh, this much is fine like this like this and okay so this is in two parts so i will have to uh, delete both select delete select delete go to top overlay layer select and uh, move back like this same for this right click place line and done press escape so your footprint is now ready what you have to do is you have to add the 3d model so for adding the 3d model we can uh, go down in the dg key so over here you can see ed and card models so if you open this link you will be redirected to snap Ada. and over here this is the 3d model and for downloading you need to log in so if uh, you can download only after logging in so i already have downloaded this uh, step file and, uh, and we will directly use while placing it on the footprint so go to ultium click on place 3d body press tab on your keyboard select generic go to choose and over here you can download the step file from your download section yeah or place it and escape now press 3 on your keyboard and you can see that the 3d model has been placed like this so we have to align it and for doing that there are two ways either we can select this 3d model and we can rotate it by a particular angle or what we can do is go to tools 3d body placement align face with code click on the 3d body and select on the face that you want to align with the plane so uh, i'll click over here and yes it's almost done so press number two on your keyboard to come back to 2d view select this press spacebar to rotate 
place it over the footprint press number 3 perfect 3d model has been correctly placed this is how you create a footprint and you place a 3d body on it so now one more thing is remaining and that is the assembly layer you can see many layers over here top layer bottom layer mechanical one 29 top overlay so for viewing the individual layers at a time press shift on your keyboard and press s so now i am on the top layer and i can only see these shoulder pads now if i click bottom layer now i won't be able to see anything now the 3d body is placed on mechanical one layer that's why i'm able to see it and mechanical 29 layer nothing i can see so for assembly layer drawing we usually use mechanical 29 layer and uh, i have to place an outline over here for the assembly layer so go to place select line and i start from here to click Yes, and you are done. Now, one more thing place string and place it. So, you have to basically double click on the string, and over here, you have to place the text as dot designator. So, dot designator will uh, basically put that. So, if you remember in our uh, schematic library over here, while I was uh, over here, I had kept the designator name as r question mark. So when I'm putting the command over here as dot designator, so for the assembly layer, I will be able to see R1 or R2 or something like that depending on the schematic. So for that reason, we put this dot designator. Now what we need to do is go to schematic library, go to add footprint, go to browse, select this, click on OK. OK. So now this resistor symbol is associated with this footprint and this 3d model so like this you can create your custom symbols and assign footprints to it so this is it for this video thank you for being here thank you so much please do like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts suggestions feel free to put them in the comment section once again thank you for being here thank you so much